Hi everyone, uh, today I'll demonstrate the permanent mandibular central incisor. The permanent mandibular central incisors are centered within the mandible. So this one is the mandibular arch, this one, this is the midline. So these teeth are the central, centered in the mandible. These teeth have the smallest mesiodistal diameter. So the mesiodistal diameter is the smallest one among all of the mandibular and the maxillary teeth. These teeth emerge into the oral cavity at the age of 6 to 7 years and the root is completed by the age of 9 years. These are the two permanent mandibular central incisors. The crown surface is smooth with a very few developmental lines. The incisor which is straight if you compare it with other incisors. Relatively sharp mesial and distal incisal angles. This one is a mesial incisal angle. This one is the distal incisal angle. So these angles are relatively sharp if you compare it with other incisors. The mesial outline of the crown is straight. And the distal outline of the crown is also straight. To the contact area and then there's a taper. The, the labial surface of the root is convex and it is smooth with no developmental lines. Sometimes it terminates by curvature in a distal direction. Here it is straight. So sometimes there's a curvature in a distal direction. The lingual surface of the crown is smooth with a slight concavity that is known as the lingual fossa. The marginal ridges are not prominent. This one is the mesial marginal ridge and this one is the distal marginal ridge. So these are these ridges are not prominent and if they are prominent they are prominent near the incisal ridge. Near the incisal ridge. The cingulum is also not very well developed. The slight conca convexity known as cingulum, it is not very well developed if you compare it with other incisors. The distal width of the crown and the root is less as compared to the labial aspect. So you can see part of the mesial aspect and the distal aspect from the lingual aspect. From the mesial aspect, the incisor ridge is positioned slightly lingual to the center of the root. The curvature of the cervical line is marked more on the mesial aspect. This is similar to other incisors as well. The mesial surface of the root, you can see the mesial surface of the root is usually flat below the cervical line, but sometimes there is a broad developmental depression on the mesial side, but it is rare. The distal aspect is similar to that of the mesial aspect, except few differences. The cervical line curvature is less if you compare it with the cervical line curvature of the mesial aspect. A marked developmental depression is present on the distal surface of the root. Here you can see a developmental depression, while the mesial surface was flat. The mesial outline of the crown is similar to that of the distal outline. The incisal edge is at right angle to a line bisecting the crown labiolingually. The labiolingual dimensions are more as compared to the mesiodistal dimensions. The labial surface of the crown is wider mesiodistally as compared to the lingual surface of the crown mesiodistally. Due to the lingual inclination of the crown, the labial surface is visible from the incisal aspect.